Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Now I know what you're thinking. Spent two videos, one week. It's happening. It's happening. I've really been in this glam mood lately and I've really been enjoying just hustling and bustling these last couple of weeks to provide y'all with as much content as possible. And besides all else, I'm really honored to be partnering up with Armani Beauty today for today's tutorial. So with that said, I created naturally a very luminous look with the complexion. Um, we did a simple eye but kept it glam with the lashes and then topped everything off with a fiery red lip. It looks really beautiful and I think y'all are really gonna like this. So if you wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm using the LMS Pro Collagen Naked Cleansing Balm to cleanse and prep our model's skin today. The last time I did a skin prep on video using this product, you all really seem to enjoy that, so I'm gonna start incorporating this part of the makeup process more often. And if you haven't seen the video I posted last Wednesday of me showing you all of my nighttime skincare routine, you have to check that out. This is one of the products I use in that video, and I go on and on about why I love it, especially for using our clients, because it's not messy. To clean off, I just use a damp, cloth and bada bing bada boom. The skin is cleansed and ready for the next step. Next, for primer, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer to prime Hannah's skin and to get it ready for the foundation. I start with applying a bit of this to the back of my hand, dip a face brush into it, and then apply it on. You really don't have to use a whole lot of this. You'll see here that I'm really focusing this along the T-zone area of the face. This primer is super lightweight. It's not, not, um, it's not greasy or anything like that, and the foundation we're gonna use lays beautifully on top of it, which is why I wanted to use this today. I really wanted to incorporate the complete luminous silk family into the complexion so you can see just how incredible they complement each other. So with that said, the next product we're using today is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is in the shade 7.8, which is a tan olive shade, and I'm applying this on with a makeup sponge. Now, Real talk, this is the star of today's show because if you've been watching my channel for a little while now, you know my love for this foundation. It's no secret by now. The receipts are there. I've used this foundation for quite a bit in the past because it's truly one of my favorites. It's exactly what it says it is. It, it leaves the skin looking luminous and the finish of the skin becomes so silky. And it, <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Spence, could you be a little more creative with your choice of words here? But no, really y'all, you truly get a luminous silk finish. It's lightweight on the skin and it's one of my personal favorite foundations to use on myself because it's one of the few that I can wear and it only gets better looking throughout the day. And that's saying a lot because look how stunning it is now when it's just freshly applied. Here's one side of Hannah's face with the foundation and the other side without. It still looks like her skin. It doesn't look like it's weighing the skin down and the pigment is there. That's another thing. When it comes to coverage, it's versatile. You can really build this up to be a full coverage if that's the mood you're in. But for today's look, I'm creating more of a medium coverage finish for Hannah because she doesn't need something full coverage. Yeah, she has a few blemishes here and there. Look, we're human. It happens. But she really does have beautiful skin and I wanted to demonstrate this foundation in a way that we're complementing her natural beauty, not covering it up. You know what I mean? Anyways, now that we're finishing up here with the foundation, we're going to move on to the next product, which is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. And I'm placing this onto the under eye area with a brush before I blend it out with my makeup sponge. The shade I'm using here is the shade 4, which I think is the perfect shade for Hannah's skin tone because it's not too light. Of course, if you're somebody who likes a really bright under eye highlight, you can just bump up the shade you're using. But again, for this look today, I'm looking for something a little bit more subtle. And if you're someone with fine lines, this concealer is really nice too because it has these tiny soft focused pearls in it that act as a light reflector so it diminishes the appearance of those fine lines. Overall, this is just a really nice go-to concealer for everyday wear. Now that I have this all blended into the skin, you really get to see now just how beautiful and seamless everything is looking. To set that concealer, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Powder Compact Foundation, and I'm using this in the shade 2, and just using this around the areas where we had used that concealer. Honestly, this is the first time I've used this powder. As I said earlier, I'm really just wanting to show you how the other Luminous Silk products pair with the foundation. And so I thought I'd pick this up while I was in a Sephora the other day. Oh, by the way, for whatever it's 
worth. If you're going to get the Luminous Silk Foundation, get it through Sephora between now and March 14th because they have some offer going on where they give the Beauty Insider members four times the points for every Luminous Silk Foundation purchased. And I know you can redeem those points later on for cash. So I thought it was worth mentioning. Listen to me. <laughs> I've really done my homework over here. Okay, Spencer. And by the way, I do realize how close I have this camera to her face. I just wanted to zoom in so y'all could really get to see up close and personal how these products are looking so far on her skin. Next, with the Benefit Hula Bronzer, I'm applying this around the perimeter of her forehead, the cheekbones, and even down the sides of the nose a bit. I'm not trying to achieve a strong, a contoured look today. I'm just looking to add a little color and warmth. And I'm applying this softly with a face brush because remember, we didn't set the foundation with powder, but this just goes to show that you don't even need a setting powder with this foundation. A lot of times with different foundations, it's tricky to go right on top with a bronzer if it isn't set with powder first because the bronzer can turn out looking a little patchy and muddy, but as you can see here, it's applying beautifully and everything is looking diffused. Now that we're finishing up with a complexion, I'm going to begin on the brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. I begin by brushing this back and forth through the brow hairs to coat them evenly, and as the product begins to dry down, I'm going to brush the brow hairs into the place I want them to be frozen, so to speak. Hannah has some pretty incredible brows, so I, I don't necessarily want to fill them in and overdo it with a pencil or with a powder, but I will next use a product to draw in some individual brow hairs, which is the this brow pen also by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade of dark brown. As you see here, I'm lightly using it to draw in some brow hairs in the more sparse areas of her brows and using it to extend the tail of the brow a bit. This is really one of my favorite brow combos, the brow freeze and the brow pen, especially if you're someone who's into that model laminated brow look. To save a bit of time, I'm gonna complete the other brow off camera, and then I'm gonna begin on the eye makeup using the Master Matte's Eyeshadow Palette from Makeup by Mario to create some definition in the crease. From this palette, I'm mixing the shades Matte 7 and Matte 8, but honestly, this is so subtle that you could totally get away with using your bronzer for this too. But once I have this blended into the crease and lid, I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan Eyelash Curler to give her lashes a little lift. And a little tip I have is to lightly heat up your curler with a blow dryer before using it, and it'll make the biggest difference in the curl of your lash and the longevity of it. Next, I'm using the Killer Liner from Too Faced in the shade Killer Cashmere to run through her waterline. I used this a couple of videos back, and as I said in that one, I really, really like this nude liner. It's been difficult for me to find a good one over the years. I've always used the same one from MAC, but it's kind of hard to get that one because they only sell it in the pro stores, but I, I, I think this might be my new favorite. I don't know. Do you guys have any other recommendations for a nude liner? Because if you do, please, please let me know down in the comments. Here I'm using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara to coat the bottom and top lashes. Since the drama in this look ends up being in the lashes and in the lip color, I'm not being shy with this mascara. I'm really layering this up to give the drama I'm looking for. And because Hannah loves lashes and I'm in a really good mood today, <laughs> I'm adding on a pair I custom made for her. I have a video on my channel where I teach you how I make these. I'll link it down below. But as always, I'm placing a tad bit of mascara on these two to help them seamlessly blend in with her natural lashes. Next, I'm taking the One Size Point Made Eyeliner Pen and using this to draw on a subtle winged liner. Of course, you can make this a little bolder if you'd like, but something about a simple liner with a full lash looks really flattering to me, and I think it really helps make the whole look come together and look a little cleaner. Once I have that liner applied, I'm going to use the Beverly Hills highlighter from Ofra to highlight the cupid's bow down the center of the nose and the inner corners of her eyes. In the highlighter, you'll notice there are five different shades in it, which is nice because you kind of get five highlighters in one, but I'm using the light champagne shade for this look. And you'll notice I'm not using this on the cheekbones today because I really like the natural luminosity we're getting already from the foundation we used earlier. Now, I'm mixing these two liquid lipsticks to create the perfect shade red. The deep red lipstick is called Seraphine from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and the orange one is called A Go Go from KVD Vegan Beauty. I love an orangey red lip, so I always have an orange lipstick in my makeup kit with me at all times to mix into different reds I use. My favorite red lip to create is to use a deep red around the borders and then use the orange as a pop of color in the middle, and then with a clear gloss on top, 
oh my goodness gracious, it's heaven. But I've done that on my channel before, so I, I wanted to switch it on up a little bit today, which leads me to pointing out for the first time ever on my channel, I'm doing a matte lip. This is monumental for me because you know I love a glossy lip. But hey, I know just because I love a glossy lip doesn't mean everyone's gonna love a glossy lip too. So for those of you who don't, this is for you. Okay, lastly, I'm using the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist to set the makeup and to lock it into place, which officially makes this the last step in creating this luminous look on our beautiful model, Hannah. There we have it kids. As promised, let me show you what this look would turn out to be had you done a nude lip with it. I think it looks really beautiful whether you go with a red or you can do a pink or you could do any color. That's what's really nice about this, uh, this eye look is that you can pair it with any color lip. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know down below in the comments what your thoughts are. Does it look better with a nude? Does it look better with a red? Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.